Hello friends, I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics Graphic Sandwich Media and in today's video you are going to learn how to create agency web banner step by step tutorial in Photoshop. But before I dive into the tutorial, if you are really new to this channel, remember to click on the subscribe. So with that being said, so let's dive into the tutorial and see how you can create a simple agency web banner in Photoshop. So let's begin. The first thing to do is to go to your toolbar home tab right here, go to file, make sure you click on new. So at this point here, you have to type in the name of your design. Okay. Then you have to come here, make sure you switch from inches to pixels. Then you have to type in for the width, you have to type 13, 39. And then you have to come to the height. So for the height, you just type 346, 346. For the height then make sure your resolution is 300 and then you come to the color right here make sure you choose rgb and then you come down below here and click on create okay click on create next thing you need to do is to press ctrl minus ctrl minus this allow you to zoom in to the entire uh, workspace so next thing you need to do is to go to your toolbar and start to play with shapes so click and hold down right here and make sure you choose rectangle and after you choose your rectangle you have to come to the rectangle property from the home tab right here so make sure you select a color and then at this point here make sure shape is checked and then no stroke for now then you have to come to the workspace and draw your rectangle So next thing you need to do right here is to press Ctrl T on your keyboard. So having press Ctrl T, this allows you to have a rotation pane. Then you have to come to the home tab right here. At this point here, type in minus 30 degree, minus 30. So once you type in minus 30 degree, then you're going to have stuff like this. Then you have to adjust your rectangle. So once you satisfy with the position, you have to come to the top right here. Make sure you click on confirm transform or you press enter key on your keyboard you are going to be fine then you can click on here to exit from that tab so next thing you want to do is to come back to the background layer or the layer panel right here come to background layer then you have to go back to your toolbar right here click and hold down so make sure you choose your custom shape then after you choose your custom shape you have to come to the property Make sure shape is checked and then come to color you can change the color and then you come to the workspace press shift key and hot key this allow you to draw a perfect triangle and uh, once you're able to draw the right triangle you have to go back to your move tool from the home tab right here and then you have to snap this particular triangle this way okay so next thing you want to do is to go back to your layer panel right here go back to your background layer then this time around you have to go to your toolbar and this time around you have to look for pen tools okay so down below right here you have to click and hold down and then this time around you have to choose your pen tools you choose pen tools right here so having you choose your pen tools you have to make sure you come to property always check this is uh, make sure always your shape is checked you can change the color this time around to another color of your choice and then you have to come to the workspace and draw make some parts and then you close the part at this point then come back to the background layer from the layer panel again and make another part and then you have to go to your move tools so this time around we need to apply color to our shape so we can start from this particular shape right here we double click we come to the layer panel and we double click on the layer thumbnail to bring out the color wheel then we can pick a color from this uh, color panel so right here you can see the color code i'm using here is this so this is the color code for this part then once you're satisfied then you have to click on ok then we have to fall back to our shape tools right here we click and hold down this time around we make sure we select triangle 
and then we have to come to the property right here i'm going to add a stroke color to be white okay then i can increase my stroke width from this point here i can increase my stroke width okay then you have to go back to your move tools then we have to fall back to this particular shape right here and uh, we come to the layer panel right here we double click on the layer thumbnail this allows us to have color wheel and we can work on the color okay so we can change the color code right here it's okay so you can see the color code i use for this bottom right here once you satisfy with the color code and you click on okay then we have to fall back on this layer right here and we come to layer thumbnail double click on the layer thumbnail right here and then this time around we have to change the color code also so you can see the color code i use for this is 02091d19 uh, so that's the color code you can see the color here and click on ok ok so right now we have to follow on this particular layer and then we go to uh, file right here and then we look for place embedded Then we have to come to the image layer from the layer panel we right click on the layer this time around we click on create clicking mask so you can press ctrl plus to zoom out and then the next thing to do now is to add text and icons into our banner okay And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right, this fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shoes I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather read than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Yeah. 